Hi, I'm Doug Schulte here at Geminis Factory in El Goibar, Spain. Uh, to give you a factory tour as well as take a look at our uh, new GT5i G4 CNC turning center. So here we are inside the Geminis factory. Uh, Geminis started building CN uh, CNC lathes in 1979. They built their first lathe in 1957. And since then they have expanded the product line as well as uh, modernized the product line with the new GTI series that you see behind me. That series was introduced at EMO in 2019. Uh, Geminis builds a, a complete range of flatbed CNC lathes starting at a one meter swing up to a three and a half meter swing and then uh, from one meters between centers up to 24 meters between centers. The, the GT range uh, covers uh, all flatbed CNC with multiple configurations. The GM series is our multi-process series. Then we have the railway series, which is machine specifically designed and developed for the uh, maintenance of railway components. Here we are in the main machine shop at Geminis. This, this area of Geminis, the Geminis factory is actually operated under a different name, Mechelarun. Uh, but that's because they do work not only for Geminis, but they do work for other companies in the Basque region that require large parts to be machined. All of the critical castings are machined in this area. So steady rest, headstocks, bedways. Uh, you can see a lot of castings sitting here ready to be uh, processed, whether they need to be machined or this one's ready for grinding. Uh, which brings us to our large bridge mill where the machine, the beds will be machined. Uh, and then you'll see on the far left, and we'll talk a little bit more about it, our large grinder. This is the largest grinder in the Basque region, and it allows us to grind our lathe beds up to 24 meters in length in a, as a single piece, as opposed to some of our manufacturers that have to, can only grind up to 10 meters at a time and have to bolt those beds together and match them. So this, this grinder gives us unique capability and we'll talk a little bit more about that. So this machine is a critical machine in the, in the manufacturing process for the Geminis lathes. This is our Heckert mill that's been the Geminis retrofitted and converted to a bed grinder. And this bed grinder can handle bed widths up to three meters and bed lengths up to 20 meters. We can grind a 20 meter bed in a single assembly and uh, it gives us the best accuracy of that, of that bed. This bed that's on the machine right now is a two bed guideway with 13 meters between centers. All critical surfaces on the bed are, are ground in this machine. And uh, again, as, a, as, as an advantage over our competition, they don't have the capacity to grind bed lengths this long in a single assembly. They have to grind them in various segments and then bolt them together and, and fit them. This is another GT5i. It's only three meters between centers. Here's a good view of the maintenance panel for the headstock. This headstock is a traditional drive headstock with the, the main spindle drive motor down below, belt drive to the four-speed geared headstock of the machine. It's another GT5i with the conventional headstock, and it has an eight-station VDI-type turret. Here's a more traditional closed-type steady rest. This is a two bed guideway machine, which I'll point out uh, a little more detail in a second. But this is a more traditional closed type steady rest that's very commonly used today also. So, Geminis builds both two bed guideways and four bed guideways. This is a two bed guideway. So you can see the the bed, the carriage spans the full distance of the bed so to get much better support and heavier. Uh, this, this design doesn't allow the carriage to pass the steady rest or for the carriage to pass the tailstock, but it does provide a very good uh, rigid platform for machining large diameter long parts. This is another machine that's four meters between centers. 
Another thing I could point out on this machine is this is the standard enclosure for the Geminis lathe. So you have the enclosure, this part of the enclosure which would, while you're machining, would interlock to the carriage. Then you also have this chuck guard that while you're machining, it would be in place to protect any coolant or chips from, that are coming off the, the di outside diameter of the chuck uh, and contain those in the uh, work area. So with this in place, during machining, it connects and interlocks to the, to the carriage so that now as the carriage moves, where all the cutting is done, all the chips and coolant are contained inside that area. The control panel travels with the carriage and it hangs from the, the pivoted arm so the operator can have it very convenient to them. This is a Siemens CNC. Uh, Siemens is another standard offering from Geminis. Here's an interesting machine. This machine is a GT7i just starting the assembly process. It has a 12 meter bed and four bed guideway design. This will be a twin drive headstock machine. Here's a good view of the size of the ways, the third rail down below for the front carriage. This is where the rack would mount uh, for the rack drive of the Z axis. Another thing you'll notice in the GT7i four bed guideway is the inside of the casting slopes in two directions. So on the front side it slopes towards the front and on the back side it slopes towards the back. The reason for that is in the GT7i four bed guideway design two chip conveyors are standard. So you'll have one chip conveyor in the front very similar to the GT5i but a second chip conveyor in the back to help remove any chips that go to the back of the machine. This little unit right here will be the tailstock for this machine. You can see it's a very heavy duty tailstock. This is a manual tailstock. This is another GT5i uh, with only a two meter bed length. It's also a two bed guideway. This machine is the GR5S. This is designed to maintain wheel sets for the rail industry and primarily for rail wheel maintenance. So a rail wheel set can be mounted between the chuck and the tailstock. Uh, and then the entire, the wheels, both wheels can be reprofiled in a, in a single setup. This machine, uh, while it's the older GT7 design, I say older, it's only about, obviously it's still a new production machine, uh, but uh, the, if this were going to be ordered and built today, it would be a GT7i. But this is the GT7. One of the interesting things about this is this machine gives you two meters of turning diameter. Uh, it's, the 7i is available in three swings, 1.6 meters, 1.8 meters, and 2.0 meters. So you can have 63 inches, 70 inches, or 78 inches of turning diameter capacity. In a, in a, if you look at a VTL that has that kind of capacity, you're a much higher machine, much taller machine, and you're taking up much more floor space. This machine has one meter of Z-axis travel. When we get around this side, you'll be able to see that. Uh, it has one meter and they've deleted the tailstock, so there's no tailstock in the way. This machine's designed for large, fairly short parts. So if you don't have the ceiling height for a VTL or you don't have uh, the overall footprint required for a large VTL, this could be a very good solution for you. So as you can see, this machine has a 63 inch diameter chuck and it has a two meter swing, four position heavy duty turret for heavy duty milling and boring operations, but you can see the one meter bed length, so you have a very short footprint uh, from the back of the headstock to this side, uh, but large part turning capacity. So this GT5i is a one, two, three, four, five, six meter between centers machine. You can see the, the manual tailstock. Uh, you can see that it's got the standard spindle bore on it, uh, steady rest. It's a two bed guideway design. Uh, this machine's completed and ready to be packaged up to head to a customer. 
This is another unique machine. It's a relatively short bed, probably only three meters between centers. Uh, it, this is a GT7 size machine uh, with two carriages. So you can see one cross slide here and one cross slide here. So we can have two turrets on a single bed. So if, if you're doing sh large shafts that require uh, turning on both ends, you could have this design machine and turn both ends towards the center. So this is another GT5i. This is a four bed guideway machine with four meters between centers and a full enclosure. This machine has the Fanuc, Fanuc 31i control with the Geminis HMI, which is, gives us a 21 inch monitor. This machine's equipped with the quick change system. It's also uh, one of the accessories for that quick change system is the four position turret. And on top of that turret, we have a milling column this is a 50 taper, 30 horsepower milling column with nearly 300 foot-pounds of torque. And it also incorporates Y-axis so that the milling spindle can move plus or minus from zero uh, 50 millimeters below and 300 mil or 100 millimeters above. So this is the third bay in the Geminis assembly hall. And this is where the large machines are assembled. So here to my right is a Geminis GT9 with a two bed guideway design. It is an 82 inch swing with 394 inches between centers. One thing you'll notice is the operator cabinet. This operator cabinet, the operator can step up there and ride with the carriage as the carriage moves along the Z axis. So he's always right there with the tool. When the operator's in there, this gate can be closed so he can't step off and injure himself. This model also incorporates the rack and pinion drive for the Z-axis. So you can see the rack and pinion drive for the Z-axis here, the glass scale for Z-axis positioning here. And on the GT9 and GT11 models, uh, we incorporate a linear guide rail as that third rail uh, down at the bottom, even for the two bed guideway machines. So not just only is that used on the four bed guideway, but also on the two bed guideway machines. As you can see, the carriage hangs out quite a ways and we want to make sure we've got that, that support of the carriage while it's, while it's hanging out. This is the carriage. It has the four position heavy duty turret. And you can see the operator has access to step right up on the on the bed of the machine to, to maintain the tools, maintain the tailstock. This is a larger NC servo driven tailstock. So it has the NC servo driven quill. These are a couple of four point steady rests that will go for with this machine. You can see the large, large size of the, and the heavy casting of the steady rest uh, to support the weight required uh, by the customer. So this model is a GT11. This is our largest machine. Although it's not our largest swing, this particular model only has 102 inches of swing. This particular model can go up to a three and a half meter swing or a three, 135 inch swing. But as I said, this is a 102 inch swing. This machine has 52 feet between centers. It's also a two bed guideway. And once again, you can see where the glass scale for Z-axis positioning is mounted, the large rack for the uh, Z-axis rack and pinion drive, and then the third guide rail down at the bottom. It's a single carriage machine, heavy duty carriage, wide saddle, heavy duty support for the tail stock or the, the turret or whatever might be mounted to the carriage. And then you can see another steady rest uh, at least the bottom half to a steady rest. This will be a four point steady rest just like those other ones we just looked at. Thank you for taking some time to visit the Geminis factory with us today. If we can help you with your heavy duty flatbed CNC turning requirements, please feel free to call us at Select Machining Technologies. <laughs>